In any industry, assets concerned will deteriorate over time. Equipment wears out, tools need replacing, infrastructure requires maintenance. Even the oil and gas pipelines are not being spared from this fact. Maintenance in an industry such as this are above all very important as most pipelines available now in our country are over 15 years old. Even the best designed and maintained pipeline will become defective over time. With the physical locations of most pipelines often in remote and extreme environments, regular and effective maintenance to the equipment and infrastructure is vital to the industry. We should look uh, basically the limitation, the weakness, weaknesses of the current technology that widely being used in the industry for pipeline inspection, which is the intrusive method. They call it uh, intelligent pigging. Intelligent pigging requires you basically to be intrusive. So the inspection um, tool has to be inside the pipe uh, in order for, for the tools to inspect the condition of the pipeline internal. So that's one of the key witness because anything you have to go through inside basically means that you have to cut off or reduce the production. So let's say you produce a certain number of barrels in order for you to uh, perform the inspection you have to basically reduce uh, the oil production or the gas production in the pipeline. One of the maintenance methods used in this industry is the magnetometric tomography method or MTM. MTM is a new method of inspection that is used to inspect unpickable lines. MTM, you make use of the natural uh, ferrous magnetic materials on the pipeline reflecting the magnetic signal uh, influenced by the uh, geomagnetics of the earth. Uh, what we are doing with MTM is uh, using the magnetic signal to symbolize the stress on the pipeline uh, because stress is the one that will cause the main factor will cause the failure on the pipeline. MTM is a method which measures the pipeline's magnetic field to create an image of stress distribution. These stresses indicate cracks, bends or other defects. MTM works from the ground surface by detecting and measuring the level of stress that appears on the pipeline. It detects all metal defects in all orientations in a single pass and is able to define features that cause these stresses without digging. MTM is also able to correlate the magnitude of stress raises with operating pressure and defines the degree of danger. MTM would be beneficial as there would be no interruption to the pipeline operation, no minimum or maximum operating pressure is required, and no special pipeline equipment needed. MTM is suitable for all ferromagnetic pipelines, including tight turns and small diameters, and it is more accurate than the traditional survey method. MTM is applied by running a magnetometer above the pipe that you want to inspect. It generally requires two operators to operate this machine, one for collecting the data via the magnetometer and another operator is to give direction by using the pipe locator. MTM charts the attributes and characteristics of pipe sections by catching and analyzing changes in the magnetic field of the pipeline. These changes are related to stress which in turn are related to defects in the pipeline. Magnetic data is collected from the ground surface and anomalies detected are a function of stress, mechanical loading and structural changes in the metal. Magnetic tomography does not measure the dimensions of geometric defects alone but it also measures the stress caused by these defects and identifies their characteristic, location and orientation. MTM is also, I would say, more, more direct coloration to the stress of the pipeline. Like the uh, intelligent peak, which use uh, magnetic flux technology, you still need to basically uh, correlate to the wall thickness, and from that wall thickness, you translate to the stress level. While MTM uh, basically uh, directly gives you to the stress, the stress level of the pipeline, 
and basically will tell you which part of the pipeline basically will burst first and then uh, basically the, 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 the degree of danger of the pipeline more, more direct relationship to the stress level because that essentially what the all the pipeline uh, engineer those who really care about the pipeline want to know The Aqua MTM works almost exactly like how a regular MTM functions on land. But instead of using human labor to survey the pipelines, an ROV attached to a vessel would carry out the surveying process. The five stages of the Aqua MTM development project are conceptual design, development of software, construction of Aqua MTM device, industrial verification, mock-up and pilot test and development of standard and specification. A general mock-up test would firstly involve the laying of the pipe underwater. The MTM would then be attached to the ROV vessel before lowering it down underwater. The ROV would be controlled by the ROV pilot control room, which is stationed on land or on board a ship. The ROV vessel would then scan the pipelines for any defects and directly transmits the signals to the control room. Technical personnel in charge in the control room would then analyze the signal to further understand the condition of the pipelines. Currently, for underwater inspection, we only have the camera, uh, you know, visual for visual inspection. So now, with this Aqua MTM, instead of uh, looking externally to the to the pipe by using uh, the, uh, the camera, we now also basically can see what's inside the pipe without basically going inside the pipe. 
So that's basically the, the obvious uh, advantage about this uh, Aqua MTM. The real application of Aqua MTM would be done at the open sea, with the ROV being monitored from the control room in a vessel. Сегодня большинство трубопроводов мира обследуются с помощью внутритрубных снарядов дефектоскопа. И э, мы счастливы, что первые шаги в абсолютно новой инновационной технологии по э, смене э, этой парадигмы у нас э, происходят э, с компанией Петронас. Мы рады, что новое слово в области безопасности трубопровода всего мира – Мы начинаем на столь гостеприимной, столь дружественной и столь красивой земле. Преимущество МТМ технологии по сравнению с остальными заключается в том, что, во-первых, не требуется остановка объекта для того, чтобы провести диагностику. Во-вторых, мобильность, легкодоступность. И эта технология позволяет определять, не просто места, где есть дефекты, а участки, на которых есть напряжение в металле, в трубопроводе, что невозможно, ни одной, недоступно ни одной другой технологии. Это в будущем при больших объемах обследований позволит избежать те катастрофы, которые произошли в Мексиканском заливе и катастрофы, которые возможны в будущем, например, в тектонических зонах где возможны подвижки грунта. Мы обеспечиваем So by by developing this technology, we are now be able to inspect our applicable pipelines, and then now we are we are in know of our our, our pipeline integrity status. At the same time, build our confidence in managing pipeline integrity. Not only that, the 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 acquired and project also will benefit worldwide as well because worldwide there are many many pipelines applicable. It's never been inspected before, and then we believe this technology will bring. Uh, solution to the worldwide for the unpackable part line as well as improving the part integrity management. Well, there's a huge cost to um, inspecting pipelines and obviously um, all companies are, are interested to reduce their cost. Uh, apart from that was the fact that we, uh, we have a lot of legacy pipelines which do not allow us to use um, other comparable techniques to inspect. So by having this tool, Uh, we are able now to inspect non-pickable pipelines. Um, so there is, not only does it open us to be able to do something that we have not been able to do before, but it's also relatively cheaper than any other technique. And this, by embarking into this development, we are able to improve the performance of the inspection itself. So that is obviously uh, very beneficial for us. This technology has a lot of potential. In, even in its current form, we should be able to apply it to areas other than pipeline inspection. This tool developed because we saw something that was working onshore and decided to, to take it into the offshore by uh, customizing it in a sense and making it applicable to underwater. There is no reason why we cannot take this from the underwater and apply it elsewhere as well. I think we are in a good position now because we have a partner who is business is primarily about inspections. So definitely if we can foster a good relationship with this partner and both parties are willing to work together, then uh, we can further this technology to many areas uh, which perhaps will be in need of better technologies for inspection.
In this age of rapid progression, our ways have definitely kept up with time. Extensive years of research with foreign partners have established our technology. We wish to offer the best at what we do.